back in 1939 when they made this machine, they weren't lucky to have a Blue Eddy. Hey, White Rock 85. I'm here today with Mrs. Rook. She's actually showing up in a video. She'll be here for a little bit. She was just sh uh, sewing here on her Singer featherweight from when did you say it was? 1939. 1939. And we're using the Blue Eddy EB55 portable power station to go ahead and run that today. Let's, let's face facts today. Everything you have either has a battery in it or it's electrified. You have to plug it into a wall outlet. What do you do when there's no power? What do we do if we're up the cabin and we don't have the generator? What if we do if we don't, don't have that three mile extension cord to run power all the way up to the cabin? For cabinet? Steve's CPAP machine? It's for a Steve's CPAP machine that he's gonna have this year. We need some type of portable solar power station. Like you said, medical equipment like that CPAP. How do you, how do you make sure that you have power in your house when you have an extended power outage like happened in, in Texas this year? Uh, uh, would this have, maybe saved a, a couple people from uh, things spoiling in their house or actually saved their lives because it kept them warm. I was disheartened to hear that a few people died of exposure down there and I was like, how did they die of exposure in their house? But it happened. And maybe if this, maybe they could have uh, ran an electric blanket off of this and it would have kept them warm long enough for that power to get back on again. And again, I was saddened to hear about that, but this may help. What we have here is the Blue Eddy EB55. That's the kind of thing that can fill that gap. That can provide the power that you need at the cabin while you're camping. I know, uh, haven't you taken one of these? Uh, haven't you taken this out when you were camping? Yeah, and I like that I can just charge it at home before I leave. And you were able to charge up all your devices mm -hmm. from it? Not have to worry about going over to the car or anything like that. Yeah, you Even could, ran a fan in you, the tent. No, thank you. That's, that's great. Keep it nice and cool and a little bit of that humid Michigan weather up there. The Blue Eddy EB55, that's the kind of unit that can fill that gap to get you from where you have no power to, to where you do, or like up the cabin where it keeps us going for, for day after day, as long as we have some type of solar to charge it back up again. Now there, there is three options to, uh, to charge this up and we'll get into that a little bit later, but this, this is a great unit, features four AC outlets, uh, 700 uh, watt, this is peak 1400. So if we did have one of those little coffee makers here, I don't think it could do a Keurig, it can't do a big coffee maker, but if you had one of those brew and goes, you're out camping, you want to brew and go, this could fire your coffee up for you. You could have your coffee in the morning or heat some water up for you and you could make a pour over or something like that, uh, French press, etc. But uh, the EB55 produces a clean, pure sine wave. And again, a sine, a pure sine wave uh, as uh, Mrs. Rook's been studying again for her uh, ARRL, that's the ham radio test. Pure sine wave is what you want. You don't want a bunch of jumpy uh, and that's what you get out of a regular generator. That's why you don't want to have your laptop connected to a regular generator that's not an inverter pure sine wave because it could cause some damage to your PC. So th this is the kind of thing that pr produces that nice clean sine wave. Uh, essentials on the road, phone, tablet, fan, this LED lamp that's right over here. That's being powered right off this unit right now. Well, let's put this through a little operation here. Right now, I have about eight devices connected to it. Uh, taking a look at each one of the segments, and when you want to power on a segment, you hit your switch here, and it'll turn it off, and turn it back on again, as you saw the, the lamp come, come on and off, and maybe the lights flashing on our power bank. Right here, we have four AC outlets at 120, two grounded, like for our laptop and two without for the lamp and the charger. Over on our USB side here, 100 watt. And that's to say if you're gonna charge an iPhone or your iPad up there for using USB-C. And here's some USB-C ports. Right now I have four of them in there. A couple GoPros, a camera, and another GoPro battery getting charged up right now. Uh, if you wanna see your display, Again, hit that. It stays on probably 30 seconds, could stay on a little bit longer, 
but that's uh, that's not an issue. Just go over and tap it. Right here on the top, we have the wireless charging port. So I'm charging actually the cell phone up. Not using a lot of watt hours right now, that's for sure. The 120 watt portable tire inflator that you connect into your car battery if you had an issue, but you could use this. That's what you would use your 12 volt DC port for right there. I could plug that into there and have that going. We don't want to hear that right now, but we could certainly do that. And two 12 volt 10 amp uh, ports right here, also with our DC output. And on the input side, this is where you charge it. The EB55 comes with a long lasting life PO4 battery and the advanced battery management system. The EB55 protects those devices that we had connected to it from overload, overcurrent, short circuit, over temperature. It's got 2500 life cycles. Charge it up 2500 times to 100% power. After that, it would go to 80%. But that's still three to five times longer than your average lithium ion battery. What do you get in the box? Hey, what does it come with? Well, of course, you get the unit itself. You get this 200 watt AC adapter. Uh, the, it does have a fan on there when you are charging it up. The, you can hear the fan. That's one minus, I guess, that, uh, that some people have mentioned and I kind of thought myself. It's a little bit louder than some of the others. This is our solar connector. It has the MC4 connectors that can go to the Blue Eddy panel or any permanent panel you can buy. That would plug right into our port right here. And along with it, the car charger. So we could charge it up in the car as we're heading up to the cabin. Of course, it's got the user manuals and 24-month warranty. That's one of the great things about Blue Eddy. They stand behind their equipment. Any issue with that, 24 months, and they'll stand by that. Absolutely. Weighs 16 and a half pounds. So very, very easy to pick up and carry around with you. Anybody can do it. So on the back, you do have a light and you have low, high, and of course SOS if you need that for some reason. And that's a lot better light than I've seen on some of those units. Some of them they just have a little like flashlight on the side and it doesn't really give you much. This is a nice big light. It actually, we've used it at night a couple times just to test it out and it lights the, the room up pretty nice. You had that in the tent and it'll be all the, the light, even maybe more than you need. Zero to 80% within an hour if you're charging this actually two ways. You get that with two input part ports. It doubles that charging. I could have it uh, solar charging. I have it plugged in to a generator, plugged into the wall, zero to 80% within an hour. And it's so easy to do. And the dimensions are 10 by approximately eight by eight. And this one happened to be in the, uh, the nice, what is it? Sapphire, sapphire blue, I think. Well, you know that uh, myself and Mrs. Rook really believe in these portable power stations. Really think that everybody should should have one. Does it have to be a giant one? No. This 700 watt, 1400 watt max can fill that void that you'd really need in a time of emergency, camping, etc. Just like we mentioned earlier. Uh, we really like them. I know you really like them. We have several of them and uh, we, we find them uh, as great units to have. Just a little bit of insurance to have. And uh, if you're interested in one, the link, uh, of course, down in the, in the, in the video description, uh, is <laughs> you can find it there. And so we'll see. George is looking for some treats, of course, up over here. Glad to have uh, the missus in a video finally. Maybe I can get her to do one or two other ones, possibly, <laughs> if she can get over the talking to the cameras a little bit strange for her, which it, it is for anybody. But again, this is Blue Eddy EB55. Really, really like it. I know that she really likes it. She's tested it out a few times, done a few things with it, and has said what a nice, convenient unit it is. It is. If it turns up missing, you probably look for it. Yeah. If, I yeah. If I, yeah if, <laughs> if I'm looking for it to take it to the cabin and it's gone, I know exactly where it is. Better check, her, better check all her area stuff, that's for sure. <laughs> So this is White Rook 85. I know if you're looking for PA Deer Camp 21, you got to remember, 
Pennsylvania's deer season after Thanksgiving. It's one of the last in the country. That'll be just in a couple weeks after Thanksgiving. She'll get a, she'll get a nice time away that uh, she'll be able to do a few things in here and do some sewing and uh, things like that and get maybe get on a radio and uh, while, while I'm gone. But, uh, you know, just, just hang tight. That video will be out soon. But then again, Blue Eddy EB55, really, really like it. Yep. To this White Rook 85, Mrs. Rook, and the king of the house, George, here, that, uh, that made it into a video also. Everybody stay safe, have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll catch you next time. Good? Yeah. But we for real. <laughs> Okay, I'll take number one. Hey, this is White Rook 85. And the glamorous Mrs. Oh. <laughs> you can't laugh. Glamorous? Yes. Me? Yeah, you. No. All right, let's try that again. Uh -oh. I'm going to say glamorous again, so don't no, laugh. Oh, you can't. He's hey, this is White Rook 85. And this is the rugged Mrs. Rook here. <laughs> Hey, this is White Rook 85. This is the delightful. <laughs> Can I blow my news first? Sure. Oh, have it. It's rolling. Rolling. <clears throat> it be rolling. <laughs>